Hey makers, this is Dhruveen and in this session I am going to talk about one of the interesting announcement from Microsoft. Microsoft has launched Visual Studio Code extension for Power Platform. So let's explore this feature in detail with me. During this session, first of all, I am going to talk about how you can get started with Visual Studio Code extension for Power Platform. After that, we will be talking about the authentication mechanism, how you can connect your CLI for Power Platform using Visual Studio Code extension. And after that, we will be talking about how we can pack and unpack our MSF solution using Visual Studio Code extension. So, stay tuned throughout this entire session with me. One more important announcement. I have launched my own Instagram page where I am uploading different short videos related power platform. So do follow me on my Instagram. The Insta ID is available here or here or maybe in the description box. So do follow me over there. So without wasting much time, let's get started and talk about Visual Studio Code extension for power platform. But before that, here is an intro. Here I am on my machine and here I have opened Visual Studio Code. Now we want to explore the Power Platform extension for Visual Studio Code. So we will be talking about everything in detail throughout this entire session. So let's get started. The very first step is that you need to install Power Platform extension in Visual Studio Code. For that, first of all, click on this extension icon and over here search for Power Platform. Once you search here, you will be finding here Power Platform Visual Studio Code extension. Click on that. On the right hand side, it will show you the preview. Here there is an option to install this extension. So just click on install button from here. This is the one way for installing this to your Visual Studio Code. Let me talk about another way as well. You can also install Power Platform Visual Studio Code extension using this URL. The link is available in the description box. So install any of the way. But I found this is the very easy way to install. So this extension has been installed in my machine. So now let's explore its different features. The Visual Studio Code extension for Power Platform has been installed successfully. Now let's run some of the commands over here. For that, go to the terminal and click on new terminal. So it will open this type of terminal window for you. Now, first of all, type a command PAC pack that will give you the information about all the useful command which can be used by this terminal. So here you can see that PAC admin authorization canvas help organization package power apps portal PCF plugin solution and telemetry so so many commands you can use here and it has provided the information as well to you now let's say for an example i just want to establish the connection first then what i need to do here is i need to use authorization command over here so what i will do is first of all i want to make the authorization so i will just type a command pac authorization auth and then I will just type help. Once you type this command, it has provided you the overall syntax over here. Now here you can create your authentication profile first. So you need to use create statement. Now if you wanted to know about the create thing in detail, you need to use a command PAC auth then create and then you need help of that as well. So just type help and it will provide you the syntax for that particular command. Now here first of all you need to provide the name of your authentication profile and then you need to provide kind value meaning you want to execute this as admin or regular user. Then uh, username password and so many other optional parameters right. So uh, let's do one thing. Let's create our authentication profile first, right? So this is our syntax. So let me just type a command here. So first of all, I'm typing this command PAC auth. 
then create i want to create a profile then name of the profile that will be thruvin cli then press space and you need to provide kind value so i want to execute my command as admin so i want to create admin profile so i'm just typing admin here and then you need to provide the url for our power apps environment so let's say for an example at this moment i just passed this url now how do you find this url let me tell you so let's say for an example you have power apps in your environment then just go to your power apps make.powerapps.com go to the setting and over here there is an option called session detail over here you will be finding an information of your entire environment that is your instance url just copy this from here and paste it in your url section so the very first step that you need to do here to use this visual studio code extension is you need to create your authentication profile so we are creating our profile i am just pressing enter it will prompt me to sign in with my account so i am just selecting my account and entering my password and here you can see that thruvin cli has been generated as admin profile now let's do one thing let me talk about some of the commands that you can leverage over here if you type pac space admin then what happen here is it will show you all the things you can do with the admin commands so it will show you the list of all the environments you can create your dataverse environment by your own you can take a manual backup you can delete your environment you can reset your environment you can list all the backups of your environment you can perform restore of the environment perform copy of environment and it will list the status of all the operation in progress at this moment so so many thing you can do here and over the time let's say for an example if you just wanted to know in detail that each command performing which operation you simply need to type psc let's say for an example psc admin and after that you just wanted to list out all your environment so you simply type list and once you hit enter what it will do is it will give you the list of all the environments over here to you it is providing index environment environment id and environment url now let's say for an example if you do not know the syntax of any of the task let's say you wanted to perform some create thing but you do not know how to do that so you simply ask for the help for that what you need to do is just need to type psc then admin then you just want to create and then just type help so what it will do is it will give you the syntax over here for that specific command so here you can see that it is sending us the syntax like this you need to pass this many of parameters and parameter description is also being passed to you over here right so this is very cool and very easy now let's do one more important thing we talk about admin command after that you can also perform some of the command for your canvas app for that the command is very simple pac canvas just hit enter and it will show you all the useful command for your canvas app so you can do pack and unpack for your canvas app now pack and unpack is something which i already explained in one of my earlier video using powershell so we have used simple powershell and we have unpacked our msf file and we have packed our msf file and create a visual studio code solution for that now this task is becoming very easy over here in this new visual studio code extension so let's talk about how you can pack and unpack your msf file easily first of all let me open up any power apps in my edit mode so i am opening one of the power apps in the edit mode and first i will download the msf file for that specific power apps go to the file menu and go to the save as and over here just save this file in your computer so i am just clicking here and it will download my msf file for me just download that file and here i am it has downloaded successfully now let me just open up my document folder and let me create one folder and put my msf file over here so i just put my msf file over here into this folder now let me do one thing let me just 
unpack this msf file using visual studio code extension and after that we will pack that file so for that what you need to do here is you simply need to open up your terminal again and let's just check the syntax first so the very first step is that we need to unpack our msf file for that you simply need to type a command pse canvas and then you need to unpack and you just wanted to know the syntax of it so just type help so what it will give you it will give you the syntax for that command so here first of all we need to provide source and msf so here we need to provide path of msf file and here you need to provide the source path where you wanted to unpack your msf file copy this syntax paste it over here from here let's remove the brackets First of all, let's provide the source. Just press space and here I need to provide the source where I want you to unpack my solution. So here I have created one folder called VSE and I just wanted to extract my files over here into this folder. So I will just provide that path. And after that, there is one more parameter MSF. So here you need to provide the MSF file path so here i have downloaded and put my msf file so this is the folder path of msf so just copy this url with msf name so this is my msf name right and now let's hit enter and here we are the file has been unpacked successfully let's see the folder so we have extracted our msf to this visual studio extension folder and here we are it has opened perfectly over here it has extracted everything perfectly now let me just open up this file into visual studio code extension and here we are the entire solution has been perfectly opened here i have talked about how this solution is look like in my earlier sessions so do visit my earlier video for more detail about the code structure in solution right now let me just open up the terminal again now we already created solution we have unpacked the solution but now i want to pack my solution again so i just need to use a command again here canvas pack and then i need help So here I need to type a command PAC canvas and then I just wanted to pack my solution and I need the help of syntax. So I'm just typing this and it is giving me this syntax over here. So the syntax is very simple. First of all, we need to provide our source and then we need to provide MSF name. First of all, you wanted to provide the source path where your extracted solution is presented. So I extracted my msf file over here into this folder. So let's copy this path and provide it to here. So let's say for an example, I wanted to save my msf as screen size one dot msf and I want to store to this particular folder. So I will provide the folder path and just hit enter. And it has packed my msf file. So let's see the file. So let me just open up the folder msf and you can see that the new file has been just generated right so this is really cool so this is how you can simply pack and unpack your power apps canvas app file with visual studio code extension so this is one of the amazing feature now coming towards the overview part and just type a command pack again and here you can see that we have explored our canvas command we already explored admin command and authorization command right help is something we already know about it like for every command if you need help simply type that help code then you can simply just type pac and org so you will get to know that what are the commands that are available for this particular thing 
similar way try it for everything and you will get to know about usage of every command in visual studio code extensions i am going to cover this commands in detail in some of my other videos but for this introduction video for visual studio code extension i think this is the enough information if you have any thought process in your mind that how you can utilize this command in a best manner for your organizational use case then provide your use case in the comment section so i will try and explore those use case and try to prepare some amazing videos on those part hope this video helps you and value your time feel free to share your opinion with me in the comment section if you are for the first time to my channel make sure you hit subscribe and press the bell notification to never miss any updates from my channel I am uploading new videos related to Power BI, Power Apps, Power Automate, Power Virtual Agents, Teams, and SharePoint every day on my channel. So make sure that you hit subscribe so you will never miss any updates from my channel. If you are looking for any consultancy or training, here is the website link. Click on that. You will be redirected to this page. Over here, you can click on contact page and send it to your query to me. If you are interested to follow me on different social media handle here is the link to url click on that it will redirecting you to this page where you will find different links where you can follow me on my different social media handles you can follow me on my twitter and instagram as well i would recommend you everyone to follow me on my instagram because instagram is a platform where i am uploading different short videos in form of post reels and igtv so do follow me on my instagram the insta id is very simple which is power platform guy just type this word into search window and you will get to know my profile just click on follow icon and you will follow me on my instagram also if you are interested for different power platform related podcast here is the podcast channel click on that it will redirecting you to this particular page over here you can find different power platform related audio podcast and you can listen your favorite podcast on your favorite podcast platform like google podcast apple podcast spotify and much more if you are interested for different short videos related power platform here is a separate channel called digital thruvin subscribe the channel and show your love over here as well this is thruvin signing off see you in the next session have a great day goodbye